so I did a thing. And it wasn't the thing in the thumbnail that I'm talking about. I mean, I did do the thing in the thumbnail, but that's not what I'm talking about. And it also wasn't that I went to the end and defeated the Ender Dragon and got some cool shulkers, but I did also do that. Um, what I'm talking about is this road out front. I was meaning to turn into more of a proper cobblestone-y like, road you would drive on with like a car. And I did it, and I said I wasn't going to use vanilla cobblestone because vanilla cobblestone looks ugly, but I did. And I think it actually looks pretty good, especially from farther away. Um, it kind of all blends together into, like, the right shades that I want. And it does give kind of the correct look, but I also did, you know, normal stone brick in here, so it isn't totally just vanilla cobblestone, and... Honestly, it kind of works. Um, you can let me know down in the comments if you think it if, if it works. Um, but I think it does. So recently, I've been working on a little bee farm that I've turned into a little house, and it's all very cute. But before I get to that, I thought I would show you all a bit of how you actually make a little bee farm if that's something you're interested in. So... What you're going to need to have is a beehive, of course, because where else are you going to put those little bees? Um, let's put it onto a little block over here. And then out back behind it, you want to put a block. And then the comparator. You do something like this. Do something like that. You build up a little bit. And then you need a slab over here or a piece of glass, something that isn't solid. Let um, me go like that. You have your dispenser facing down with either your glass bottles in here or your um, shears, which is what I did for my farm. And then down below, you have a little hopper that picks it all up. And, and that's it. It's very simple, but I needed something to actually store this thing in. And so for the design of my little building, I decided... This mangrove wood, I've not had a, a very good use yet to use it since it came out, which is really my own fault, but I wanted to use it somehow in the build, so I kind of wanted to do proper color palletting, and so here's what I came up with. If you start out with the, the stripped log on its side, it's kind of dark because it's got these dark rings, and it's just kind of a little bit darker overall. It gets a little lighter without the dark rings. And then I think this one is even lighter than that. Um, you've got these little highlights that are pretty common throughout it. And even though it's got some dark lines through it, I think overall, if you kind of squint, it does look lighter. And then from there, uh, we've got the terracotta, red terracotta, which is even brighter. I mean, this is very gradual here, and then this is like kind of jumping up. And then... That, which is even even brighter, has no darkening of it. Um, and then even, even, even brighter, uh, which is kind of crazy. And I ended up not using these two shades down over here. But this is kind of the palette that I was originally working with. I mostly just use this, and this was already pretty bright. Um, so I don't even know if I quite like it. But I, I tried something a bit new for myself. And then for the bottom of the build... We've got this tough bricks because I love tough, like how it looks and the new bricks and stuff looks so good. So I wanted to incorporate that. And then we've got, for a little bit lighter of a look from there, we've got normal tough that isn't in brick form, which I feel like looks pretty good. And then you go to cobblestone and it all just kind of blends. I mean, it's much better jump than that. Um, it just kind of blends all naturally. I mean, it doesn't look great to have part of a wall be cobblestone again, yet somehow I incorporated it into the build. So now for the big reveal uh, that you've probably all been waiting for. I'm the type of person that just kind of builds it all off camera, and then I'll just show you how it turned out. So look at this. I think it turned out beautifully. I am so proud of how this area is turning out so far. This beautiful road, this beautiful tree. I have made something actually that I like in tree form. Normally when I make trees, they either look too much like normal Minecraft trees or too weird in other ways, which, I mean, this one's got its quirks. But 
there is something about it that I just absolutely love. And I am so proud of this little guy. Um, honestly, I might be more proud of this tree than I am of the build. But let's actually go look at the builds, um, since it is the bee farm. Um, if we go over here, it looks like all the bees are in their hive, um, probably depositing all their honey. But if the bees were awake, they'd be floating around and half frolicking in the flowers. Um, we've got a little sign over here that says apiarist. And then if you come inside, if you thought my last build had a tiny room, <laughs> you're about to be shocked. Um, uh, it's, it's got a decent size in there, but it needs room for the redstone. So, um, we've got all this honeycomb up here, which the reason why I wanted honeycomb, if you didn't know, is because I've been using copper over here and on the roof. And to stop it from aging, keeping it at a certain look, um, you need the honeycomb to wax it. So that's what I've been using it for. And I've got so much of it now, I probably didn't need to have five hives worth but it's very nice. And so in this tight little corridor, going past where the redstone is, which is behind there, we've got nice little hanging flower, um, nice little pots, this outside porch area, which has got a little chair um, that you can sit in and relax next to your potted flowers and the ones like in a little, I guess that's sort of like a pot. It's a, um, there's a different term for it that I can't think of right now but it's one of those. And if we head on further in, we've got, I don't know why this one just makes me laugh every time I see it, but it's such a big pot for such a tiny little flower. And it just, it's, it's something else. Um, we've got some like storage for the honeycomb, which is nice, more, more hanging flowers. Um, we've got the basement, which is, um, like that it has a lot more space we're you know talking about needing space it's all down here and i'm not using it <laughs> um and then there's actually an upstairs which goes above the redstone but it's really tight like really really tight uh so i don't even know exactly what i'm gonna do up here with this space and again if anyone has any ideas uh, i keep on asking people to leave their suggestions in the comments because genuinely I, I don't know what to do up here. Um, and maybe it isn't even really usable with how tiny it is, but it's whatever. Um, and also, yeah, we got these skylights, which you can either see from like this loft position up there, or if you're down here, you can get some of the skylight in. And I think it looks so awesome. Um, as for out back, we've got this little, uh, what would you call it? Like a deck, but it's not wooden. It's a patio. It's a... It's a, I, don't, I don't know all the fancy terms, um, but we got a little covering over it, which is very nice. We've got access over to the bees because I've been breeding them up. I think I still need to breed them up even more, but honestly, I already make so much honeycomb. I don't even think I, I, I'm, I don't know if I will. Like, I can't use anymore, um, but if I need to get in there, I can. And then if we go into little cheaty cam... We can fly up and above and we can see that I added some cool solar panels up top as decoration. The roof was looking a little bland over here and something about it just screamed, I need solar energy, um, which it is connected up to the grid. But, you know, it seems like something um, this type of build would have. Uh, maybe I'll even put it on like my other build over here, but that kind of gets away in the sun. Uh, maybe I could put it on top of the big barn, have some solar panels. I don't know. That might be an idea. But it looks just so beautiful, this little place. And this tree. And if you didn't, if you haven't noticed what's different about the tree, and I don't blame you if you don't because YouTube's compression probably kind of messes with you seeing it, but there are very subtly put a couple of la azalea even say the word azalea leaves um put around in a couple places like the sun's hitting it and it's making it brighter um just ever so slightly giving it a hint of just it just looks so good i i don't even know how to describe it besides it just looks so good and i'm so happy with how that turned out so besides just making this build here i've also been working on a lot of other stuff in my world so if you're curious i've got 
this path connecting up over here now. I've expanded out this wheat field, um, which is what I always intended to do. And it just feels so nice. And we've got the path coming out over here over to my redstone stuff, which if you want to see stuff about that, you can go see my world tour where I kind of showed some of the stuff I already had around. Um, and then we created another little electricity pole and this road. This road has been a big thing as well. Um, I think it gives the right vibes. It might be a little too industrial. Maybe that's the correct word. Like this type of cobblestone path is what I was looking for. Maybe this is too sidewalky looking. I need something less polished maybe is the right word. And out front, um, I have this, I don't know what you call it, this, I don't know, just barrier wall holding up the water, right, when it goes over. And first of all, I can't tell if having the walls here be also stone bricks or being this andesite. I don't know which one looks better. I think this one gives definitely more of a modern look, but I don't know if that's a good thing. I'm looking for a little antique. And I don't know if that gives antique, but also that doesn't really give antique either. I like... I need something changed, and I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Um, and also, if you haven't noticed how it's looking so far, um, the river here comes on in. It kind of makes its way fine over there, but then it gets real cut off. So I'm probably going to have to make the river go a little bit wider around and go over here. I mean, I already had to cut down some of it because the like land was sticking out a bit. The, the river was really wobbly. And I don't know exactly where we're going to continue from here because I'd like the river to go across. We'll probably like need a bridge either there or maybe diagonal or something crazy. And then I don't know how we want to plan out the builds over here because building on diagonals um, would be such a pain. And I love challenges, but building on a diagonal is maybe more of a challenge than I want. Um, so I still got to think some of that out. But maybe, maybe we'll make it a uh, real real angled, you know, making its way out there. So this video has been a little haphazard. Um, if you all liked the video, then let me know. Or if you feel like you want more in the process of how I actually build these things, um, like me actually going through the steps of building it or decorating it or anything like that, just let me know. Um, cause I'm always willing to change things around. I'm still kind of figuring out exactly what format I want. Um, I don't want my videos to be too, too long, but also I realize I'm kind of speeding through things and, uh, you can only do so much when I'm just showing the end result. You guys might be interested in exactly how I got there or something like that. But if you've liked the video, give it a like. And if you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. That's what the buttons are there for. And I sure hope you've enjoyed. Um, and I will see you all in the next one.